Hi, welcome back to part 2 surface water drainage for PQS 601 measurement of a construction works. For uh, this uh, part 2, we'll be looking at the first surface water channel. Uh, channel is um, um, a very important component for surface water drain because it will help the flow of the uh, water so it depends uh, like um, okay this is what we call as a box uh, surface water channel and we have a u drain well the price depends on the size of the surface water channel and of course uh, the function uh, will depends on uh, sorry the selections of types of surface water channel will depends on the function of the drain for instance like we have uh, parameter drain we have um, surface water drain and then we have uh, monsoon drain normally monsoon they don't they, they don't use channel um, because it normally just uh, an earth drain um, parameter drain is basically a drain that um, a smaller version of drain that will um, will be placed um, surrounding the building or houses and surface what surface parameter drain will channel the water to the surface water drain and surface water drain will be channeled to the main drain so um this is the example of um, the v drain yeah? this is a v drain and this is a half round drain okay this is a common one eh? normally this one is a for a parameter drain or a smaller version of drain okay and then uh, okay v drain oh sorry a precast concrete block drain eh? or we call as a v drain and then we have um half round eh? half round drain okay and then we have u drain And a cascade drain. Okay, cascade. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, a stairs. Yeah. Uh, the reason being uh, to reduce the flow, the um, the pressure, the water flow, uh, in the drain. And normally for the cascade drain, if you look at V point five point seven, it will be measured as extra over which means when you measure your drain okay for instance uh, this is your drain and then here is the cascade drain okay for instance this is a cascade drain here so you will measure your drain net okay you will measure your drain net up to here here okay and then uh, this is what we call as a net so this is a line for your drain and then for the cascade drain okay you will take this area as an extra over oops oops not working okay as an extra over okay and then you need to measure Oh, what happened? Okay, you need to measure. And then you need to mention the total number of the steps in the cascade. So, for, exa for example, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers of steps. And the total drop, which means, okay, this is your cascade here. Okay, something like this okay this is what we call as a total drop so what will be the total drop the height of a total drop so you need to mention that in your description this is how uh, the drain is being described um, block drain precast concrete grade 25 the size of your drain okay Cast in 600 mm length as described, led to fall, jointed.
pointed in semen and sun. Okay, batted on and including 150 thick in in situ concrete grade 20 bat, including foam molding. All right, um, it's a lot to remember, right? But actually, if you look at V.5, Point six. Okay, you can look at this uh, closest. It's actually telling you what to do and what to write in the description. You don't have to memorize. There's, so, there's no such thing as memorizing your description. It should be always referred to your drawing and SMM to, to draft your description okay so if we look at this surface water channel shall be given in meter stating the kind so you need to mention the kind the quality of drain okay kind is a block drain quality is a grade 25 okay and the size of your drain so this is the size of your drain and method of jointing how do you join the drain okay and yeah that's about it. Okay, and then um, sample entry in the BQ. Okay, you have surface water channel as a heading. So this will be your subheading. And well, it depends if you have 900, 1000 at the width. You need to separate it because the cause will be different. So if you have extra over, you need to mention as extra over because you need to tell the contractor, hey, Mr. Contractor, the cost will be different as well. Okay, so sum, sum, uh, function of sum basically um, as the jointing of uh, drainage and also diverting, okay, the drainage. Uh, direction okay so under sumped v.6 measure in detail under appropriate heading stating the number of sum in the project okay and typical heading for sum is something like this the following is in seven numbers uh, of brick sum okay seven numbers of brick sum you, you need to mention that in the heading, otherwise I'll be deducting your marks, okay? So, this is a typical uh, sum, yeah? Okay, uh, where you have, okay, this is a drain channel where the water will flow inside the sum. Okay, this is a sum base. Okay, this is the base. And this is the, um, the wall, the brick wall, yeah? The brick wall and uh, plastering don't forget this item plastering and also the grating okay you need to have a grating for the sum okay these are the typical sum items yeah i don't worry much about this because when we are doing a taking off for sum okay it will refer back to what you have Pre done previously which means if you are doing excavating it will be refer to section d if you are doing concrete concrete works it will refer to section come on section f okay if you are doing brickwork you'll be referring to section g and so on okay so which means you will refer back to the section based on the nature nature of works okay um this is how you describe some in a bq okay so uh the following is is a uh, in seven numbers of break sum okay excavation work you have excavation of bead how many numbers okay item for filling disposal of excavate excavated material oops this is uh, disposal of water supposedly and we're missing the item for extra over in rock here okay so don't forget about this 
and then you're gonna have item for benching okay benching okay and uh, closing of group items and in C2 finishing for plastering mold still grating and you need to have a closing of group items and of seven numbers of brick sum so that's about it so in the part three there will be a google meet session where we're going to look at our case study the drawing that has been given to you in the google meet so please take a look at the drawing and we'll discuss in details about that drawing in that particular class so see you in part three um, assalamualaikum and have a great day everyone